strong against that amongst the best, man. He's been able to be dominant and even go up against, like again, like you said, Void. He's been able to take out Void uh, quite a few times. He's been able to uh, challenge Larry on multiple occasions. And so where Olimar is right now, too, I am not surprised that he's uh, playing at this level. And I'm pretty sure he's going to continue to do so. But anyways, we're going to get in this matchup. We have K9 Sean Bruce on stage versus Salem. And this is game one. All right, and it's Wolf. Very interesting. I want to see how Salem decides to edge guard Wolf because Wolf, again, does have the best recovery. So, and Link is really good at keeping people off the stage. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that was scary. Yeah. Good dash tag. Yeah, it's oh my. there. No, he's going to hit him back out, but he's going to be okay here. Hopefully, okay. Yep. Deciding to go high. Good choice. Easy Wolf Flash. Yo, K9 is so aggressive. Deciding to always go off and do that down air. Uh, didn't get either one to hit. I can see why he went for it, though. Yeah. It's very interesting because K9 is someone who's always been very, very solid at edge guarding as a whole. Yeah, even in Smash 4, that was really his bread and butter in terms of getting kills. So I'm very curious to see how he's going to translate that to his Wolf play. Obviously, a character that may not want to go off stage as much as others. Yeah. Alright, and look for these neutral airs. Neutral air, one of the best neutral airs in the game, stays out forever. Oh, you can actually free. combo neutral air into grab too, or uh, it's, it's actually pretty, it's really pretty Yeah, cool. both of these characters have some of the best neutral airs. Yeah, actually I forgot about Wolves. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Wolves. Yeah. Again, can go through two <laughs> up smashes from Snake. <laughs> you love saying that. No, it's, it annoys me. <laughs> you still think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. K9 played it really safe. I like that. Wolf having a lot of aerials KO. I think that was up air? Yeah. That's shocking. Up air KO'd after um, hit. It might have been a little early. Actually, I was thinking I was looking at, well, Wolf. Percent. Here we go. Here comes the sheet combos. Yep. Stop. Okay, you'll be back. Ooh, just barely did not get that bomb to explode on Wolf. That might have actually been a KO. A really good edge guard. Shot. Oh, good cash. Bombs away. Oh yep. Oh, my gosh. You have to hold that. Yeah, and one of the good reasons that Link's uh, edge guarding works really well on Wolf is because before he does this up B, he sits there in place for like however so long, many right. frames. Oh my goodness. Ooh, oh, my uh, oh my gosh. Yo, uh, K9 Sean Bros. Okay. Almost uh, was able to actually punish that falling back air. It's up B. But here's, this is what Link likes. He loves to get you off stage. Second jump is wasted. Let's see if you can recover. Let's see. Ooh, had to go high. Doesn't even matter. A lot of damage. Just, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Salem. Still gonna be able to cover. Wait oh. a minute, on air. Oh, oh no, he doesn't go for it. Uh, he played it real safe. Yeah, I'm very, very surprised. I thought he was holding on. on Boom! Yeah, easy catch. Hit him with the bang. And so one of the things, Cannon also was a very a great player in terms of his uh, micro spacing and his dashbacks in Smash 4. Obviously, extremely easy now in this game because of the way the dash dancing is back in the title series. So. I love that. I think that's really great for K9, and you really saw it in Exemplary Showcase of it right there. Yep. And K9 right now having a pretty huge lead. That's a watch out for that forwarder that we might see Salem going for pretty soon. It says, wow, Salem not going for any forwarders. And oh, an SD no. coming out from K9. Yeah. But still is going to be able to lock himself in there, getting a, a lot of ton strong hits on the blaster. That blaster is going to be a very great tool in this matchup. Going to be able to really disrupt any kind of setups that you're going to see, whether it be oh from boomerang or yeah. arrows. Did you see how far that sent him? And look at this yeah. cross up coming off from K9. Boom. Boom. Good F tilt. And up tilt and a host of other moves will now kill at this point. K9 in a really good place. Back, back, back. Right, let's see. Back here, no. Uh oh. Cannot be rolling into Link. That's what he wants. One F tilt. All he needs is one F tilt, one down tilt, smash, one back air. One up tilt, one back throw. <laughs> All right, definitely so wants tools. to stay on stage. It has no reason to go off stage right about now when he has so many attacks that can KO. F2? No. Ooh, Ooh there it is. Too. Not going to KO, though. Yeah, not yet. Oh, good shot there, though. Look for that up air. Back throw, Back yes. Throw, yes. Good roll. Good stuff with him right there. That roll is actually incredibly fast, by yeah. the way. And it was really good because K9 understood that there was actually a multitude of options that he had for a kill. Uh, he had dash attack on the landing, and then he also had a back throw. And the reason why I went for back throw there, proper, appropriately timing is probably the better of the two because if you have him hit, throw out a hitbox or do anything, you could, uh, he's just going to roll past that and then get a back throw. Uh, if he did mistime the dash attack, then he could be in a bad position and get grabbed and tossed off stage. So really great uh, frame of mind right there for K9 to continue forward. And K9, Sean Bruce, up 1-0 against Liquid Salem, one of the game's current best. Yeah. Definitely current best, however, this is a big national now. It's going to be, it could be a little different. 
All right, up there. And we're going back to Battlefield. Interesting choice coming out from uh, both players. They're perfectly fine with going to Battlefield. I feel like this works really well for Link normally, especially with the ledge pressure or the platform pressure. You can do those neutral airs yeah. or up tilts that go through the platform. And you still will be below it. All right. A lot of neutral airs coming out, trying to stuff out Wolf, but Wolf seeming at the moment, or at least this Wolf having a better neutral than Salem, always putting on way more damage than Salem could put on him. Yeah, absolutely. And I like that he's decided not to go crazy off the stage, but he's up the out of shield. Really good at gaining stage control. Absolutely. Very, very great uh, out of shield option, especially because it hits on both sides. Good F tilt and has kill power to boot. People always forgetting that boomerang turn Ooh. right back. Oh, that was a strong punish. But that boomerang always comes back. He throws it like that on purpose. He's not trying to hit you with the first part of the boomerang. Yep. He's trying to hit you with the second. Or draw off stage. Any stage control. Can he get the arrow? Yep. Oh, second jump. Nice. But he should be able to recover. And bombed away. Oh, wow. Yeah. wow. <laughs> what? Yo, let's talk boomerang. about that bomb play. Boomerang to bombs away. Crazy coverage coming out. Oh, good the cash. Alright, this is the damage. Salem. 42%. Oh, yeah. I remember. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, he is moving. Uh, oh, he's super moving. <laughs> I don't even know if he knows where he's moving. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's just, uh, this is a whirlwind. Alright, do Good bomb shot. Okay. He's going to wait patiently on stage. I like that Salem tries to go for that. Even if you have the bomb in hand, he tries to explode it. Because you can explode it right when they throw it. And exactly. It explodes in their face. If you try to guess when they're going to throw it. Okay, a bunch of neutral layers. Platforms. Again. And platforms. These neutral layers are so good on these platforms. Yeah, and of course, that is actually going to be uh, virtually safe uh, for punishment uh, on block. That strong hit neutral air. All right, should be able to recover. No. No. Yeah. It looked like he actually threw the bomb. Maybe try to throw the bomb and then uh, move closer to it, but uh, he couldn't be able to recover with that. Yeah. Because even if you throw the bomb forward, second jump wasted has to the side beat. True. But even if you throw the bomb forward, um, I don't I don't think Lincoln actually like trip far enough to go to the bomb. So it might have been an error. Right. Okay. Into forward air? Nope. That's not a combo, but it definitely comes close to it. Okay, Boomerang's going to come back. Yes, in the F-Tilt, just to coverage, just in case. Yeah, he's always getting up right in between the Boomerang and the F-Tilt. So even if that F-Tilt does miss or you shield it, that Boomerang is going to hit you, and then he might be able to draw another attack with KO. All right. In there. K9 is definitely bringing this back right now. It has him at pretty much KO percent, but remember last time, it took him so long to get that KO. He wasn't throwing out enough smash attacks, and this time around, True. you see him throwing out a whole bunch. Oh, absolutely. Might as well go for it. You pretty much can't punish like almost any of Wolf's smash attacks. Yeah, crazy. Uh, especially forward smashes. Uh, I believe it is zero on block. It's a <laughs> really, really amazing tool. That just sounds great. Down smash? Ooh, okay. Ooh. He actually might have been able to down smash in between it because one of the hits he parried and the second hit afterwards, he didn't get hit by it. Like, it didn't hit anything. Right. Even though the third one did. Okay, okay good choice. shot. Yeah, we have 162. Uh, we're looking at a back throw, up tilt. Oh my god, is that a V reverse side B? With what in that? Salem. Ooh. I'm actually surprised that it hit. That's how strong the yeah. neutral air is. And another good air. Get off stage. Boomerang into bomb into explode. Yeah, if yeah. you grab the ledge too long, you will get hit. And the great thing about it is the reason why I cannot had to wait there is because the bomb bounce does have an active hitbox. So it's something that you can't readily get up to. That also combos into the bomb explosion. Yeah, so that's the thing. Beautiful he, setup. They like to use it as a trap, the links. Is, yep. He dropped a bomb, and it looks like, oh, he just dropped a bomb. Who cares? No, that's an active hitbox sitting there waiting to combo into something yeah, else. Yeah, like I said, it's definitely reminiscent of Brawl Wario attires. Okay, bomb. All right, bomb again. Oh wow, my gosh, man. He's not ready for his bomb. Yo, this match is so sick. See, I think K9 was so confident that he won on Battlefield in the first game. He was like, I'll just do it again. No, there's a reason why Salem wanted to go back to the stage. Yeah probably didn't realize it. So we're most likely from K9 going to see a stage choice change. Not going to want to go back to Battlefield again. There might be some stages that he hates worse than that. Alright, and Yeti? Okay, uh, I think he took a game off of Kobe. Wait, is this losers? Is it? Uh, is that losers or winners? I think it's winners, right? Alright, that's my skimmer. <laughs> that was a cool post. Can you answer my question? Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, see ya. <laughs> he did not. Yeah, he just literally turned away from me. Yeti, remember, has not lost the game yet. <laughs> nice pose, Giver. You know, that's the coolest stance. It's so cool. <laughs> Here we go. Yeti has not lost a tournament yet. That's won apparently like 17 tournaments in a row, but it's currently 1-1 on the other stream. Let's see how yeah. he does. But right now, Salem 
this is a match that people would expect Salem to just go through, especially how we haven't been seeing too many like strong results from K9 in SoCal. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's uh, back in AZ now. Oh, that's true. That's yeah. why. So I think he's just kind of been silent. No one knew like, what he was doing. No one knew if he was doing well or not. But looks like he came here to play for Genesis. Yep. Forward throw. Let's see if he used the bombs to be able to get the edge guard. Nope. Good rolling, just barely being able to get out the blast zone yeah, with that. Good stuff. Wow. I love that trap on the air dodge. Which way? No, 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 no. Go for it. You gotta be very careful with that. You saw how Link he turns around the up B. Yep. And the way the up B works, it can skew in a lot easier than the last game. You're true. And Link actually matters in this game compared yeah, to the last Yeah, exactly. Game. So Oh, good bear. That's not gonna kill from this all the way across the stage though. Alright, one good smash attack is all he needs. He knows he's looking for it. He wants to get this early KO. It'll do a lot to the mentality of Salem to get a KO right now while only being at 76%. Absolutely. Salem's going to get in there. That's going to allow him to get him time to set up the blaster. You can see K9 looking for a dash attack. Trying to get this landing. Good yep. dash attack there. And it will not kill from across the stage that way. But packs on the blaster shot just in case. Interesting. He's not going for a smash attack at the ledge. Uh, could be able to get Link. With that, oh my gosh, up there? All right, and it looks like K9 let Salem bring this back. Definitely did. Okay, who is going to get this first stock? That's the scary thing about the bomb. When the bomb's in front of you, it makes you want to second jump and go high. Yeah. So he puts the bomb right there. He's like, all right, now have fun jumping over me, and I'm going to be ready to stuff you out. Okay, laser. Wolf cannot get this KO. No. And? Oh, no dash attack. Oh my oh gosh, my wow. Gosh. Back throw. That's Back throw, yep, KO. that's a stock. Okay, K9, 141. Is he going to get some extra damage here, or are we going to see a revenge kill from Salem? All right, Boomerang, Boomerang can sometimes combo into forward air, depending on how it's used, but back throw off oh, stage. Oh, back throw. Uh-oh. Salem having trouble getting back onto the stage. Oh, oh good oh, forward fantastic. smash. Almost gets that grab. K9 playing so patient. It's really yeah. hard for Salem to deal with this right now. I have not seen K9 play like this quite some time. Really, really smooth. Using that blaster to wreck on damage. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no. He oh, falls out of fair one. Good That's bear. Unfortunate. And it looks like K9 is kind of running away with this. This yes. is actually very, very he's worrisome for Salem. Literally running away with this. Like, he's not. Look how far yeah. away they're fighting. Oh, from. yeah. He's, he's gone. He's like, go ahead. Fight me from that part. He's making Link want oh, to approach. Oh, the pressure on that shield. We're Link doesn't wait. usually want to approach. Link wants people to try to do stuff, and he hits them with a strap, so oh, then he goes in. Yeah, good air dodge. Oh, oh, he's going to be okay. And that up throw is going to kill him. Easy stock. K9, he's almost literally getting lucky. He's actually gotten out of multiple trap setups that should have been able to KO. Mm -hmm. and I like that turn around up tilt to make sure that up tilt hits. Through. All right, he can still bring us back. Last time or earlier in the first stock, he actually was losing by about this much percent, and he was able to bring it back. So. Yeah, he kind of rushed them down. Yeah. Early percent, so we could see that again. Um, Morty has him at 147, so definitely uh, playing a lot better. It's an interesting type of play style because it's making K9 feel like, uh, or making Salem feel like, all right, I can like kind of just try to keep setting up traps and add some more damage because right. K9's not being that aggressive. So I'm never really scared to be randomly KO'd. Yes. Oh, tries to go for the tech chase, uh, down smash, not gonna get it. We are on that shield, you'll be safe. All right. Let's see, laser. It's hard to actually use the laser neutral against uh, Link because it takes so long for that laser, like, not to come out, but, like, for the end lag of the laser isn't that um, good. So he's actually able to throw a projectile possibly over yeah. Wolf's head and be able to hit oh him. Oh, my boom. gosh, and rolled into that bomb. Did not recognize what was there. Okay. Good shot. And again, K9 playing it really safe. Back throw. Going to be able to KO him? Not just no, yet. No, not yet. All right, and K9, again, super safe. Remember in the beginning, he was just going for downers yeah. off the stage? <laughs> now look at him. Yeah, being extremely safe. All right, and still looking for that. Oh so gosh, there we go. Stock, and again, 96% has the bomb in hand, too. All right, and has to watch out how he recovers. Ooh, just barely getting out the way of that. Oh, man. Oh, oh no. Man. He keeps forgetting about that boomerang. Yep. It keeps messing him up, and oh, that's going to be KO. Smash, and, man, just like that, that deficit has been erased, and these guys are going into the last stock. I know he thought, like, okay, if I just side B into the center of the stage, I'll be better because I can avoid the boomerang, can yep. avoid the F-tilt. However, not a good choice because Link can just be able to react after and get that up smash. Yeah. Fantastic from Salem. And right now, Salem having the lead. And it looks like Salem is K9. Yeah, man. He's going aggressive. Yep. He changed it up. This is exactly what Salem wants. He wants aggressive K9. Yeah, he does. All right, and... 
Okay, it looks like Yeti was able to take his set. Oh my gosh, almost was able to break his shield right there. And I like how he waited just a little bit to make him hold shield even longer. Okay. okay easy damage there. He's getting his grabs that he wants, but he's being very aggressive. A big change up from the rest of the entire set. Okay, now we're going back to K9, just waiting to see, waiting for an opening from Link. Ooh, yeah, wow. yeah, and that's going to be punched by the up B out of shield. The hero spin. All right. Again, very safe. I like that up tilt. However, there goes that laser having a little bit of lag. So if he is able to get close enough to avoid that laser, he can hit you. Oh, that's a good dash attack. He's on my side of the ledge. Oh, not going to be able to pin him there. That's the problem, though. Uh-oh. This is scary. I feel like this is more scary for Link, even with the percent difference, because even though uh, Link is a very strong character, a lot of his smash attacks take forever to actually finish. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Neutral air, neutral air, back air. Okay, good shot. Blaster, he's going to get some extra damage. Bomb's in play. That's the scary thing about having a bomb. You can't actually get a KO. Can't really hit somebody far away using a bomb. Oh, he, I think he used the second jump. Yeah, he oh, my oh gosh. My Barely so almost got close. that. All right, looking for that up tilt. Needs to rack up a little bit more damage before trying to go for KO. Interesting choice. Oh, yeah. I think up tilt. Ooh, somehow he's able to get back yeah, on the yeah. stage. Salem's looking for that one little F tilt. That one little up tilt. Bomb explosion. Ooh, ooh. And good shots. That's a watch, 150%, but Wolf doesn't care. He can just do a smash attack, oh, a back air. Bear, has him on stage. Is he going to go crazy oh, for once? No. That boomerang protecting him. These yes. guys playing a very projectile type of game. There However, up throw can be able to KO. Flink, ooh. Oh, he's going, these guys are going down. The don't get grabbed. Let's I see, see that roll. He might be going for the... Oh, 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 oh